In this movie, I have a tire skid, so let's take a listen. All right, that one's pretty good. Let's listen to this one. I like the second one, I think, because it's a little more drawn out and seems to have a, a nicer stereo effect. You can notice that the left side gets louder, peaks before the right side. So there's actually a nice stereo effect here. If we were listening in stereo, you'd hear that. So in shuffle mode, I'm going to trim off the front of this. And we know from shuffle mode that it's going to jump over and fill up the gap. Let's also trim off the back. There's nothing useful back here. And as I trim off the back, I want to look at the right side down here on the bottom because the right side finishes a little later than the left. If I were trimming only by looking at the left, I might go right there and I'd actually be cutting off this little piece down here that I might need. So because it moves from left to right, the right side finishes a little later and that's probably a good spot to end. So now I will command bracket, zoom in just a little bit and we have the second tire squeal. So next I want to go to Audio Suite, and then Other, and Reverse. This window pops up. I'm going to reverse it. So I do that by hitting Render, and then, as promised, I have a reversed tire skit. Now I'll close this, go to Audio Suite, and Pitch Shift. And to do that, I pull up the Time Shift plugin. Let me move it up just a little bit. And over here in the lower right hand corner, I can change its pitch. So I'll go somewhere in the neighborhood of 17 or 18 semitones. I will render that. And now I have. All right. We've definitely transform this from its tire squeal state to some new thing. And then I will take my TCE trimmer and let me zoom a little bit. It's currently just on the fat side of three seconds. Let's make it about double that. So somewhere in the neighborhood of six. And then I have And now, if we look in the clip bin, you can see that I've been creating new parents, new audio files, in doing this. I started out with my tire skid, then I reversed it, then I time shifted it, and it turns out that that gets me in the neighborhood of what I wanted to get. If I were working on the sound for a game and the script said, we need a sound effect for a swarm of angry alien bees, I would go to my sound effects library and look for a swarm of angry alien bees and come up empty. Because sometimes you just have to create the sounds that you need. And who would have imagined that we could take this normal little tire skid and reverse it? and stretch it and pitch shift it and turn it into a swarm of angry alien bees. But that kind of experimentation is part of what sound design is all about. And you might get a slightly different effect if you pitch shift it before you reverse it before you stretch it. So sometimes you just have to do it the first way and do it the second way and see which way you like. Now in this case, and you can experiment with this on your own, I've tried this by pitching it before I stretched it before I reversed it. I don't get a discernible difference between those plugins, but sometimes you do. So that's the idea of sound design. You don't just accept the sound effect as you found it. We didn't just accept the tire skid and move on. We worked with the tools in Pro Tools to see what else it could become. Apply your creativity to the tools in Pro Tools and see what you can come up with.